Laura, this is where the explosion happened. You can see that a heat source got too close to the septic tank and the methane caught on fire. But now this is where the family is calling home over here in these tents as they work to rebuild. Blackened and burned, this is all that's left of what was a family home. We heard something that sounded like a gunshot. I yelled at him, get the baby out of the house. There's a fire. Go, go, go. Then there was nothing left to do but wait. All I could do was just stand there and watch it burn. They say because they have a modular home, they couldn't get home insurance. So they're working to pay for these repairs themselves and are asking you to inspect your own septic tanks. Make sure they are covered properly. They are not anywhere where heat can make the methane explode. They won't leave the property and are ready to live like this for months, but say this won't break their mission to rebuild their home. We try to be good people and we know that it will come back to us and we will survive through this. And the American Red Cross did give this family about $500 just to replace some of their clothes and be able to purchase food. But still, they say that they need much more as they're paying for the repairs on this home themselves. If you'd like to learn more about helping this family recover, just go to abcactionnews.com and click on this story. Live in Zephyr Hills tonight, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.